as there is an increase in the usage of tools like ChatGPT, there is a huge outbreak of AI generated content available on the internet. Whether you are a university professor or you are somebody who doesn't like to see AI generated content on your feed, the problem that you face is how do you distinguish between human written content and AI generated content? This is a problem everybody has been grappling with. And for that, I'm going to give you a latest solution called GPT Detector. GPT Detector is a service that can help you detect GPT and it is called GPT-0. GPT-0 is a very simple streamlit application. Very unfortunately, it is not open source. In fact, the creator of GPT-0, I think is probably trying to create a paid version for academia. So the version that I'm going to show you right now, the GPT-0 is a free version that is available until probably the paid version comes out. But the creator has promised that this version will be available as free permanently free. So it says GPT-0 is committed to keeping a free version, or sorry, version of GPT-0 classic permanently free and accessible for any human. We do not know the code. We do not know how does it ex work except few techniques what it uses to detect whether a text has been written using GPT or not. This is not only applicable for chat GPT, but you can use this for any AI generated content using GPT family models, whether it is GPT-2, GPT-3, GPT-3.5, Instruct GPT. So you pick any GPT model. If there is a bunch of text that has been generated using these GPT family models, GPT-0 should be able to classify as an AI generated text for you. I have, um, I have managed to try a lot of different things. And so far, I found this working quite well. So I'm going to show you an example first, and I'm going to show you how this works. So GPT-0 is like this. It looks like this. It's a very simple streamlit application. I shouldn't say simple. It is a streamlit application that is hosted on streamlit cloud. And all you have to do is you have to go there and paste your text to see if it is AI generated or not, or GPT generated text or not. I'm going to show you a sample first. First, I'm going to go to the Microsoft blog and then I'm going to copy this text. Like I'm going to copy this text here and I'm going to paste it. First, I want to check whether what it says for a blog post that Microsoft has generated. After you paste it, come out of the tab or the text box that will start analyzing your text. So you can see that the input text is available. It's going to calculate something called a perplexity. Now, what is a perplexity in natural language processing? Perplexity is the randomness of the text. It's a measurement of how well a language model like GPT-3 model can produce coherent text. For example, if you have a very high perplexity, your text that is generated using a language model is going to look very bad because it cannot produce random text. It has to produce coherent text. So that's why a text that is produced by AI, artificial intelligence, or a large language model like GPT usually has a very low perplexity than what a human being would create. So you can see here, the average perplexity here is 26. And also you can see that it analyzes something called a burstiness. And it, you can see how every text has a different, every line, every sentence has varying perplexity. So this is another indicator where if you have got a text that is AI generated, you would see this very uniform distribution. What does it mean? All the bars would look almost on the similar range. But for a text that is human generated, you can see how varying it is. Now let's go and then see the final result. Let's click get GPT-0 result and then see what does it say. Most likely it should ideally say that this is a human generated text because the perplexity is too high for it to be AI generated 
and also you can see how the burstiness like the perplexity of individual text looks different so it says the gpt score corresponds to the likelihood of text generated ai generated is 44 does i don't know what does it mean so the main thing is your text is likely human generated and this is the text from a microsoft blog post now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my chat gpt i'm going to copy this and i'm going to go ahead and then paste it i'm going to go to the streamlit application and i'm going to select everything delete it and i'm going to paste it and come out of the tab so now you can see that i've pasted a new text and then the perplexity is just 12 it's less than half of what we saw before and you can see the total perplexity the the text for and when you see the burstiness you can see it's quite on the uniform distribution side you can still see some differences but still you can see everything almost in the same line and then finally you can see the total perplexity is 28 and then click to get the result and this result is going to tell us whether it is ai generated or it's a human generated text once again you can see it is basically using two main things one is the perplexity the randomness of text the second is the burstiness and then finally you can see it says your text is most likely to be ai generated and that is very well true you can try different things for example in fact I tried to ask ChatGPT to give me text with high perplexity so that the detector cannot detect. For example, I can say, give me an essay on Tom Cruise with a very high perplexity. You're going to be surprised what ChatGPT says. I'm in my previous attempt, like I don't know what is it going to say right now, but in my previous attempt, it said that if I generate text with high perplexity, it's going to look a gibberish. So I wouldn't do it. That's that's exactly what ChatGPT, like I'm paraphrasing it, but this is a very similar thing what ChatGPT told me last time when I asked ChatGPT to generate text with high perplexity so that I can escape the detection that, that is available. As you can see, it says it is not appropriate to write an essay with intention of making it difficult to understand because for a large language model, high perplexity means it cannot produce coherent text. And you can see that it says perplexity is a measure of how well a language model can predict, predicts a given text and a high perplexity indicates that the model is uncertain or confused. So for a language model to work fine, the perplexity shouldn't be high, but now what do you do when you do not have high perplexity so a language model will try to produce coherent text with a low perplexity and now when you use that text with this kind of tool it's going to tell you whether it is ai generated or human generated quite easily because there are two important parameters just like we saw the perplexity the randomness of the text the second one is the burstiness of the text which is looking at the distribution. So if the text has been like AI generated, you wouldn't see hum um, a uniform, sorry, if the text is AI generated, you would see a quite uniform distribution. That's what it says here. Human written language exhibit properties of burstiness. What does it mean? Non-common items appear in random clusters that will certainly appear over time and research research has extended this property to NLP. Some human written texts have low perplexity, but there is bound to be spikes in perplexity as the human continues writing. Contrastingly, perplexity is uniformly distributed and constantly low for machine generated text, which is what you could see here. You could see very uniform distribution, but also you don't see spikes a lot. Let me go again and then paste the Microsoft text. I'm going to paste here, copy this one. It pasted it here and you can see the input text. It's loading the details, the perplexity, the average perplexity here is 29. And then you can also see the total. You can see that a better indicator that considers text length is 82. So that's good. And you can see the spikes like some, some text has got a very uniform distribution, but then you see the spike, then you see the spike. And that was not the case when it was AI generated text. 
and you can see the the total perplexity that you see here is like 249 the max and that's not quite the case with ai generated text because it's usually closer to your average and now when you get the result it's going to say it's human generated and that is exactly how it's going to calculate right now this application has not shared the code anywhere but it shouldn't be really very difficult to create an application like this because there is a very clearly written formula there is a clearly written formula for this as well so technically it should be easy but i don't see a lot of open source alternatives currently this is hosted by the author themselves and it is available on streamlit cloud so sometimes the application might not load so i would recommend you to refresh it but this is a really robust like at least like from what i've tried it's a really robust solution to detect gpt generated text if you have any question let me know in the comment section otherwise i'm going to link this application in the youtube description for you to check it out see you in the next video happy prompting